well, was really good and really fast. So I, I have really good friends now here and I feel really welcome. So Stefan, welcome to Genus. I'm really happy to, uh, to be with you uh, today. Um, if you had to define yourself uh, as a person, what would you say about yourself? And now in private or in football? <laughs> no, private, about, about yeah. private, yes. Okay. Um, I'm like more like a quiet person at home. I like to be, be home to watch TV and to chill, so I don't go often too much out and that's, that's so my person. So the kind of personality you are is uh, more uh, uh, close or you are someone who is really, really open uh, with other people and something like this? Depends on, on how I feel, but in general, I think I'm like more closed. It's difficult to, to, to come in contact with me, but like when I arrived here, uh, I, I was quite open, so it wasn't difficult for me to, to find new friends here. Mm -hmm. How was your, your adaptation here? Well, it was really good and really fast, so I, I have really good friends now here and I feel really welcome. Mm. And how does you feel with the, the change uh, between uh, Belgium and, and Switzerland? How do you, you felt it when you came here? What, what's the difference you, you just saw? <laughs> about the country now? Yes, like, about the country. Yeah, it's pretty similar, but uh, maybe in Switzerland it's a little bit more better standard, so but it was quite similar. Not much, much wasn't wasn't so difficult for me to to adapt to Belgium. Just now the language is is a little bit a problem in the beginning, but now I'm learning French, so I hope to speak soon. I I think the the coach of Charleroi see you as a future leader or potential leader, and I wanted to know what is for you the best definition of a leader. Uh, a lot of things it it has. To be a good combination about uh, how you you can uh, treat your teammates. Uh, you have to be the first person who go on, you know, to show to to have courage in these things. It has to be a good 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 around thing, so so that that is go well. And you you feel like a natural leader right now? Or you I don't watch person? myself as a natural leader. I, I'm, I'm this type of player who is on the pitch like this. I, I, I can't lose. I, I, when I'm losing, I get, I'm getting angry and, uh, and these things. I need to control also myself a little bit better in so, some, some ways. But I'm trying to, to, to be more quiet on the pitch, to, to also to help the, the young teammates I have. Mm -hmm. Because we are, uh, in general, a really young team. So I try, but with Marco, Joris and, and Rio, we have, a, we have already very good leaders. When you uh, make a so for, um, sort of introspe an introspection of you, what do you think are the best or the human aspect that you can still improve on? Yeah, sometimes I get fast angry. That, uh, that's uh, what I said. I, I have this, this one, one second, I'm really angry. But after I, I'm fast, again, quiet, these this things. And sometimes to think, uh, think a little bit longer before I, before I do something to, to handle, yeah. So um, you are from Z Switzerland, but you, you have also a, an origin uh, with the Serbia. So you are a uh, sort of mix of, of both. So first of all, I wanted to know what Switzerland represents to you due to your story and the person you are. Yeah, Switzerland is, is, is uh, everything for me. I grew up there. For me, it's, uh, it's a phenomenal uh, country, most beautiful country. And, and, and I'm really happy that I could grow up in Switzerland. Yeah. For the people who never came to, to Switzerland, how, how do you can describe this, uh, this country? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, you have everything, eh? you have mountains, you have lakes, we don't have a sea, but uh, it's, it's pretty clean, everything, uh, good organization, so if you want to come for a trip, you have to go to my city. Okay, nice. It's really beautiful there for some days, also for ski and everything, I think it's really famous, Switzerland. Yes, we were talking off the record about uh, your, your city, so Lucerne, 
Uh, can you describe a bit this this uh, city? Because uh, to be honest, I made some uh, some search about about this, and there is not a lot of information. Could you could you tell me a bit the sphere, the people, how it's going <laughs> on in Lucerne? Yeah, me personally, I didn't grow up in Lucerne. I grew up like 20, 30 minutes from Lucerne in in a small village, but I spent a lot of time in Lucerne because I played all my youth there. So so I know the city really good. Mm -hmm. um, the people are more more closed. They are a little bit more quiet. They just go to to work all the day. So, for them, it's number one work. But in global, the city is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. You have uh, like an old 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 city and a new city. That, uh, and the lake is there with a lot of bridges and mountains. It's, it's really nice to see. It's a, it's a perfect touristic guide uh, speaking. Yeah. So yeah, you we have a lot of before Corona. We had a lot of tourists. Okay, but. Now, now it's getting more and more again. So I wanted to ask you a question about Switzerland in, in, in general, because there is a lot of preconceived images uh, in, in Switzerland. Um, also, when we come to Belgium, we have some, some doubts, some cliché about uh, Switzerland. What's the difference between what we think about Switzerland when we are not from there and what is really? I think the people outside from Switzerland, they think that it's really expensive. But uh, they are right, uh, Switzerland is really expensive, so <laughs> I cannot deny this. <laughs> um, yeah, in general, I don't, don't know what the people think about Switzerland. I think they respect a lot Switzerland, so... I know that a lot of people say, yeah, it's really expensive, or the cho chocolate is really, is really good. So we have a doubt now, which one is better, Belgium or, or Switzerland? I don't, I Which don't know. I, I don't eat too much chocolate, to be honest. But you don't take too much risk because you. And I don't know which one I have to take here in Belgium. I never ask someone, so you can give me some. There, there is a lot. So yeah. if you love chocolate, will you will uh, for sure, uh, <laughs> for sure have a good moment with the uh, Belgium chocolate. You, it's really tasty. I, um, I wanted to speak about your Serbian part and. When does, in terms of personality, in terms of who you are, um, it's spread it out your your Serbian part because we know how how um, people can think about uh, Serbia. You know, some people really with a big character and something like this. Um, how do you feel with this? Yeah, if I have described myself, I think my my character is 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 really Serbian, so typical Serbian. So I know, is I'm not the quiet Swiss guy in this way. I'm quiet, but I can be also really angry and things like this. But it's not only in a bad way, you can use this in a good way. So I try to use this on a good way in, on the football pitch. And yeah. This is the kind of thing you have to, you have to work on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But now I think I'm, I'm doing not bad here in, in Belgium. In Switzerland was like more mm -hmm. Yeah, I had more more things like this, but now it's it's really good here. Do you have some cheatings, some some things to help you to be <laughs> less angry? No, I'm not, okay. I'm not like psychopath. I'm yes, not so. Uh, I, but it's sometimes, you know, everyone is a little bit angry. But I, I I control myself, and also I have to because because of the coach. He he gets angry if I get some card or something. I wanted to to ask you a last question. Um, it was about uh, you. Uh, if yeah, I, I, I don't want it. That I, I absolutely don't want it. But if your football career ended now, would you do something else? Would you like to do something thing else? Is, is there something that you love um, a part of the football? I, I really didn't think about this, to be honest. Now, um, but also. I have no other interest in football right now, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think I will stay in football. I don't know now if I will be maybe coach or manager or something, but I, I want to stay in football also after my career. Okay, so you're passionate uh, about this. Yeah, I'm addicted to football, so I don't think I'm also. I can choose something else. I don't know. Maybe when I'm later, I will think different when I hopefully have family or something, but right now. I'm just with football. I understand. Thank you very much. Thank you.